How you doing and welcome to another episode of Collecting with Rob. So today I just came back from a Comic Con in New York. Uh, it's called WinterCon. Uh, they had some big names here today. Um, they had Nick Castle from Halloween. They had uh, the entire, not the entire cast, missing some people like some of the main stars, but it did have a couple of main stars uh, from the Aliens cast. Uh, Michael Bean, uh, who's also in Tombstone. He's in The Mandalorian. Very big star. And uh, of course they had... Uh, some people from the Warriors. Uh, I've gotten them quite a few times. I know them they're very cool, great guys, so I didn't need to get them this time. Um, and then they had a couple of uh, lesser known uh, Walking Dead characters and things like that. So really cool, um, really fun convention. They had some great vendors this year, um, some really cool comics. Um, some pretty, there was a couple of different autograph boots. One of them, I, I noticed it, I saw it, I'm like, I'm getting the hell away because they had Amelia Clark, they had um, Felicity Jones, all autographs that I would love to get. But I know their autographs pretty well, especially Amelia Clark. I have quite a few things from her. These things were fake as you know what. I mean, I hate when people try to get one on some people. Like maybe, I mean, in all fairness to the seller, maybe he bought it from somebody else and he thinks it's real. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but those were beyond fake. So I passed that on that big time. But then I did see another... Um, seller uh, who was selling autographs and she actually was had legit stuff she had a lot of cards from uh, Game of Thrones um, Peter Dinklage Sophie Turner no Amelia but um and then she had like tons of them though she had a lot of like uh, Lena Hetty and she had like a lot of the lesser known Game of Thrones people as well some Star Wars uh, Jeremy Bullock cool cards um they were all legit um I don't know if they were certified or not but I know the autographs, those were legit. And then she had some certified JSA photos and things. So she had something certified for a really great price. Um, I can tell you I got him less than what he's going for in his upcoming private signing. It's a huge Marvel star. Um, not just a Marvel star, but he's like one of the biggest uh, actors right now going. He's in a lot of big franchises. You'll see he's somebody that's been on my list for a long time and I don't have yet how to pick them up for an amazing deal so I'm going to show you that as well so let's show you so I'll show you at the end I'll show you some photos and uh, little clips of me meeting Nick Castle and Michael Bean that's who I uh, ended up getting in the uh, that's who I ended up going for because I really wanted something I already have an, a Nick Castle Funko Pop and but I don't have I wanted to get a NECA so I got a couple of NECAs uh, one in Aliens uh, to get signed by Michael Bean and then, uh, you know, a Michael Myers Halloween NECA to get signed by Nick Castle. Nick Castle was awesome. Um, he took us, he talked to me, you know, I was like, hanging out with him for a little bit. Just a really cool guy. Um, was not expecting him to be like so down to earth and chill. Like really cool. Um, he already had all his paint pens. I didn't have to give him any paint pen or anything. He knew exactly like the proper way of signing, not to use a Sharpie. And then uh, I met Michael Bean, really cool guy too, but he was about to use a black Sharpie on a NECA figure. And yeah, he had one paint pen, but I don't think he knows too much about paint pens. So I told him, you know, if you could use a paint pen. I actually have a little clip of that. You might be able to hear it. It's pretty funny. He's like a pink pen. No, I'm like a paint pen. He's going to use a Sharpie. Sharpies don't look well on like windows of Funkos, NECA figures, any type of action figure or anything. They, they tend to fade. They don't really pop. Um, if it's all you can get like on the streets sometimes then you know it's worth it like you see this um this Haley that I got that I've shown in the past like that is Sharpie but again it's the only Haley it's from the streets so you use what you get and it's the only Haley Funko Pop of Kate Bishop right now that pretty much exists so it was worth it I'm gonna get some stuff obviously from the private signing that's paint pen anyway so I'm not too worried about that that's gonna be um so I mean it's still I love the piece I mean it's on Sharpie I'll protect it I'll get the nice I got the nice UV um, Funko uh, containers keep it out of the sunlight so it, it, it should stay preserved but I prefer it you know to pop you want paint pen but still it was something I couldn't pass up at the time anyway let's show you what I got so let's start off with aliens this is a really cool NECA figure um, I think NECA's is the way to go if you're not getting like Funko signed or something, I think these are rare. Like everybody has photos, everybody has Funkos, but how many people get NECA? So I think, you know, in terms of investing, like you want something that's rare too. How many people are getting NECA signed? Um, I did get them to use a nice green paint pen. I convinced them. It's a cool alien. 
cool signature. I'll show you pictures and videos at the end of this. Um, so yeah, I'll th you'll see that. Now we can go show you the NECA figure from Halloween that I got. I do collect NECAs too, as well as Hot Toys and Sideshow, so this is cool. But to get signed, I thought it was really cool. He used a nice orange paint pen. Nick Castle, the shape, the actual, the absolute legend in terms of Halloween. I mean, in terms of horror, I don't, is there anyone bigger than Nick Castle at this point? I mean, he's, he's the king of horror. So very cool to meet him. I also was able to nail, like I always collect obviously the Hawkeye runs, the Kate Bishop runs, and I want all the key issues. So I got the first team bit, uh, team up with Clint, getting that signed. I got the first uh, run, getting that signed. I got the first appearance, Young Avengers 1. I also got um, first appearance of Kazi the Clown. Um, all the key issues I collect of uh, Hawkeye. But this is another key issue that I didn't have. Um, the price says 48 but I got it a lot less than that. Um, it's the first appearance of Eleanor Bishop, uh, which is Kate Bishop's mom. Um, obviously plays a huge role in the show as well. Um, so this comic could end up becoming a very big comic in the future, depending on what, where they go with Eleanor. I, I feel like she's going to become a big uh, character you know, and a big villain to Kate Bishop as we go on in the series in the MCU. She's going to play a main part. So that comic could end up becoming a pretty decent uh, key issue and go up in price big time so that was a comic I had to get and then something and then what I was really excited when I saw is so we know this uh, particular actor this is by the way James Spencer authenticated his particular actor is currently doing a private signing with uh, Star Wars Autograph Universe I wanted to get on it but he's starting off he's 350 very very expensive um, so you know I still was probably going to get him because I need him uh, in my Marvel collection. Uh, he's one of my favorite actors, um, probably top three in the MCU for me. Um, and I also love him in Jurassic World. Um, but of course, Guardians of the Galaxy. This is Chris Pratt, Star-Lord. Nice full signature. Nice black pen, JSA authenticated. I got it for less than half of his going price right now with uh, SWAU. This is a really nice photo. Could not pass up. It's from my favorite movie of his. I love Jurassic World as well. I mean, I love all his movies. He's a great actor. Um, seems like a really down-to-earth uh, guy, too. Like, a really... Um, some celebrities, you know, that kind of have, like, big head on their... This guy is, like, seems like he's most down-to-earth. One of the great guys of the MCU. Um, great actor. Um, Guardians is probably one of my favorites of all the MCU in terms of movies. They're hilarious. Um, so that's a piece I had to get. So some really uh, freaking great pickups today. Um, definitely um, was a great con. Was not expecting to spend so much today. But I mean I got some great deals. Um, I definitely went in, you know, just looking just for the fun, you know, walking around the convention, meeting some of the celebrities and doing that. But uh, sometimes you see some things that you just can't pass up. So um, at the end of this video, uh, stay tuned. Um, just wait a little bit. Uh, at the end, I'm going to put up some clips, some photos of me meeting them if you want to see that. And uh, thank you for watching. And as always, happy collecting.